I am Pragya and I bring to you excerpts from the year opener issue of Outlook titled Poetry as Evidence. Poetry must be brought before general public. Poetry offers that scope that we get affected and we feel. Poetry expands the scope of storytelling. It is evidence of others' lives of our times. We remain grateful to Amar Kanwar who worked with us and edited this issue. and to everyone who gave us their poems and images to the reporters who gathered the poems to the designers and researchers who made it all possible she was told by aruna gogula manda from telangana translated from telugu by the poet she was told not to wear a blouse to allow every male watch her as a device she was told to bend her back not walk straight to fill the tender tummies keeping herself a bait she was told to toil all day long in the fields as a human machine deprived of food and water she was told to swallow the pain of not feeding her baby though her lactating breast pine to sate its hunger she was told to take the insults jeers beatings and assaults for being born a woman in a cursed clan She was told to take the daily thousand cuts of sexist remarks, acts and assaults of her man and master. She was told that she is a bad omen, a bloody sanitary pad, useful but a disgusting topic. The relentless sun beat on her, her dreams, beauty and youth. Sacrificed in the service of the land, the hut, the master, her eyes two dry hollows bear silent witness to hundreds of deaths of her mother's daughters sisters their dreams respect and their bodies her calloused hands her unkempt hair her cracked heels her wrinkled hair tell the tales of living through fears and years of centuries and millennia of violations and deaths she was told that she was dirt she was filth and in this sacred land of thousands of goddesses she is called a dalit for this and more read the year opener issue of outlook